Avatar Aang is undoubtedly one of the strongest benders in the Avatar series. I mean, he's literally capable of controlling all forms of bending, and even taking them. But does that mean he's still the strongest when pit up against our favorite anime characters? Well, let's see what happens when Aang is faced against different anime characters. What if he fought Yuji? How about Deku or Tanjiro? Would Aang be able to defeat Jinwoo? How about Asta? Keep in mind, we'll only be considering shown feats and abilities from the anime, not from any manga versions. And with that out of the way, let's spin the wheels to find out from where we start. Aang's first opponent is Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen. Yuji is shown to possess multiple feats achieved from his insane physical strength. I mean, he was able to match up against the likes of Toto, who's considered a high-ranking sorcerer, and even work alongside him while fighting Hanami. That's not all, as he was also shown to fight against Mahito, who's capable of ending his opponents by transfigurating their soul. However, Yuji's punches are also that potent, as we see that they could equally affect the soul as well. Which means if he manages to land a single hit on Aang, it's pretty much over. And let's not even get started with his immense curse energy and durability. But does that mean Aang loses to him? Not quite, as Aang is pretty much skilled at evading attacks, so dodging Yuji's won't be much of a problem, and would most likely have multiple openings to land a critical strike. So Aang takes this round. Besides Yuji, we've got characters like Deku, Asta, Tanjiro, Boruto, and even Sung Jinwoo. Spinning the wheel again, and we now get Deku from My Hero Academia. Well, Deku has seven different quirks, and also a high amount of battle IQ to back that up. With one for all, Deku is able to create airwave attacks by snapping his fingers, which could be augmented by punches or kicks. With the Fajin quirk, he's able to accumulate kinetic energy through repeated motions and releasing it in burst, which makes him much faster. And Aang actually lacks at that aspect. The danger sense allows Deku to sense danger via a stabbing sensation in his head. But do any of these quirks and abilities allow Deku to come out on top? Yeah, Deku would most likely take down Aang due to his vast amounts of abilities, physical strength, and battle IQ. So that's Aang's first loss. Let's spin the wheel again. And we now have Boruto Uzumaki. Being the son of the seventh Hokage Naruto, Boruto possesses a plethora of powerful jutsu, like Shadow Clone, Wind Style, Lightning Style, and heck, don't even get me started with his giant Rasengan. I mean, he's also able to create this giant subscribe button, and only the true anime fans are able to tap. So give it a press, ladies and gentlemen. But seriously now, Boruto has a special eye called the Jogan, which enables him to see opponents' weaknesses, and the fact that he's a ninja makes him a totally skilled character. Was that it? Not even close. As he possesses a special type of Rasengan which vanishes. And no, this time, not the subscribe button, because it's still there for you, so go on, click it. But on the other hand, Aang possesses the Avatar state, which makes him tap into experience from all the previous avatars and also amps his bending multiple times over. But does this mean Aang is able to stand a chance? Not even close, because Boruto would easily take this round. Let's spin the wheel again, and we now get one of the most broken characters in today's video, Sung Jinwoo. Now, for this round, we won't be considering the shadow army Jinwoo possesses, as certainly that would be overkill. And as we mentioned earlier, we're only considering the feats and abilities shown in the anime. And truth be told, that version of Jinwoo is still no joke, as he's faced countless overpowered enemies single-handedly and was able to take them out easily, meaning Aang wouldn't be an exception. With the stealth skill, Jinwoo could totally hide his presence, which anyhow you see it, gives Jinwoo the advantage over this battle. Spinning the wheel again, we now have Asta from Black Clover. Asta does indeed have a set of unique abilities, however, they're most effective on magic users, as his main weapon is his anti-magic swords that can negate any kinds of magic. Even though he has great speed, durability, and physical strength, that's not even close to all his accomplishment, as he was able to match up against opponents that are far stronger and faster than the speed of light. And Aang definitely doesn't match up to this, so Asta takes this round. And for the final character in today's video, we've got Tanjiro Kamado from Demon Slayer. Now, this one could be slightly debatable, as even though Tanjiro has a few advantages due to his sword skill and durability, Aang's avatar state might still pose a problem, seeing as he bends the surrounding air and Tanjiro mostly uses breathing techniques for his forms. But I still think this battle could end both ways, Tanjiro rendered useless due to his inability to use breathing techniques, or Aang getting one-shot by Tanjiro's overwhelming speed. But I'll leave that up to you guys to tell me in the comments who's stronger, Tanjiro or Aang. But before that, let's call it a tie. In these matchups, Aang had one win, one tie, and four losses. But since you enjoy these anime matchups, check out this video where we present Sung Jin Woo against all S-rank heroes in One Punch Man.